Senate President Bukola Saraki today appeared before the Code of Conduct Tribunal, accompanied by the Deputy Senate President and other several senators. While well, legal fireworks then ensued between the two councils on the competence of the tribunal to carry on with the case. Dr. Saraki is being charged for alleged false declaration of assets as governor and senator. Uh, I recall your order very well. Yes. The order simply was to produce the defendant yes. in court and not to take plea. What it was adjourned for on Thursday or Friday when we came here yes. was for mention, as you ruled. Yes. Now, being a date for mention and being a date for the production of the defendant, we have, we have satisfied the order of the court yes. or the tribunal. Now, having satisfied the, I wish to point out that we have a very fundamental application yes. which borders on the jurisdiction of the tribunal to proceed. I am drawing the tribunal's attention to the fact yes. that we have a, on, on the terms, a substantial application in, relating to the jurisdiction of the tribunal. My learned friend seems to be under the misconception that this is a criminal trial. Your what, lordships know you are not a court to try criminal cases. In any case, the Administration of the Criminal Justice Act, Section 6, applies to only federal courts. Since she said the administration of criminal Yes, applies to only federal courts, magistrate courts in the FCT. This tribunal is not a court under section 6, subsection 6, and it is not a magistrate court. It is for the discipline, it's like the disciplinary committee of the legal practitioners for politicians. When they think they have transgressed a code of conduct, they bring them here and uh, you discipline them, but they are not criminal offenses. Your lordships will recall that the third issue of jurisdiction yes. was raised on Friday. Yes. The learned counsel addressed the court to my learned friend, my learned brother, uh, Mr. Magaji. Yes. Address your lordship extensively on this issue of jurisdiction. Yes. And your lordship ruled on Friday. I said, your lordship have jurisdiction over the matter. Yes. Not only that you have jurisdiction, the case was properly filed before the court. Yes. That ruling is there yes. and it stands against all parties, including them, yes. including the defense. Yes. My lord, I didn't rule on that. And that same Friday, your lordships adjourned the case for uh, uh, to Monday to enable the accused to be present and take his plea. My Lord, I think what the defense is doing is to overstretch the administrative of criminal justice system in this country. The business of today, the business of the court today is for the accused to take his plea. Not any primary objection. Not any primary objection. And he should go to the boss and take his plea. The Heat Assembly came and said, no, we have to change from our way of life. We have to be serious, the Heat Assembly. We have to change our criminal justice system. We have to stop preliminary objection. And they say, don't file preliminary objection again. If it is filed, if it is filed, it will not be taken. He has to take his plea. Section 296, two, say so. Don't take uh, preliminary objection. The accused person must take his plea. Three nurses, take his plea first. If you have any objection, then you can then raise it. If I that objection, will be, will, will be delayed on the ruling on the 